win. The 3D printers in general are they're changing lives in the you know America yeah. in general right now. And now we're selling to space. How crazy is that? Interesting. Very cool. Let's talk about weather today. And you know what? Yeah. Big twist when it comes to the wind today. That's chilly. Yeah, it's definitely windy out there to say the least. I do want to start though with radar. Have a little bit creeping across that state line up in the Raton Pass area. Let's zoom it down to kind of see what we're dealing with. A little bit of that mix. Most of this was actually snow earlier this morning. But the nice thing is we have a camera up there, and I want to show you a time lapse from earlier today. Watch as they put this into motion. You can see it kind of comes back just a little bit through this morning, but then we had another band come through. And so now it's creeping across the state or the excuse me, Interstate 25 as well. So just give yourself a couple of extra minutes. Take your time if you are heading on that stretch of I-25. But it's snow, and I know a lot of the ski resorts excited to see some fresh powder. Durango looking at some uh, snowy conditions up there as well. Nothing here in the Albuquerque metro area. It's the winds we're talking about. You can see sustained winds over 25 miles per hour up in Taos as well as Santa Fe. Las Vegas, it's the same thing, especially this little stretch of I-40 right here is what I'm watching for those gusty winds because it doesn't take much to kind of uh, look at some traveling conditions. That's what we'll watch, but the gusts especially too. You can see some of the gusts have been close to 40 miles per hour out in Las Vegas, Santa Fe. Your gusts have been 33, 39 mile per hour gusts seen up in Taos. Winds expected to definitely get stronger here in the Albuquerque metro area, so don't let that light breeze fool you now. It will get worse. Temperatures right now not too bad, about 55 degrees walking out the door here in Albuquerque, getting a little bit of a nice warm up ahead of that cold front that will move in later tonight. But you can see temperature change. We're a good 12 degrees warmer right now compared to where we were yesterday at this time, but colder where we're seeing some of that rain snow mix. Clayton, you're a good 17 degrees colder right now, so that cold front will continue to push in. Notice the winds, though, very windy all afternoon long, and they're likely to continue overnight. It's the rain and snow showers that do get very spotty. Not everyone will see activity today. By around noontime, this is what I'm looking at. You can see, yes, I like what the monitors are showing. They were a little iffy earlier this morning but I like that they're bringing a little bit further down closer to Albuquerque. Most of this will just be rain. I'm not thinking any snow here in the metro area. Santa Fe, though, this could get a little bit messy. So if you are heading up that way from about Albuquerque to Raton, that, 20, that I-25 corridor, watch that as far as the gusty winds and snow goes. But through the day tomorrow, we're good. A little bit lingering closer to that Texas-New Mexico state line. But other than that, we're going to start to calm down and get a little bit quiet heading into midweek. So Southern Colorado, you are looking at those on and off snow showers through the day today. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. We get colder tomorrow with that cold front. North and west today, it was the same thing. Hit or miss showers. Farmington looking about a high temperature of about 48 today. But notice with the cold front overnight, we're down to the upper 30s for tomorrow. South and west, you won't see anything in the way of rain or snow. Most of this will be sunshine. Temperature wise, upper 50s to low 60s today. But that cold front taking a little bit more time to get to you. Expect 40s by Wednesday. South and east, nice and comfy today in the upper 60s to low 70s. We'll watch for some hit or miss showers a little later on this afternoon. Most of that will pass into Texas. And as we head to the north and east, yeah, it's the snow showers we're watching. Capulin at about 42 degrees today with those on and off snow showers. Northern mountains, same thing. Like to see a little bit more snow up in Red River and uh, Angel Fire today. East mountains looking at those upper 40s to low 50s, but notice those temperatures were down to the 30s beginning tomorrow and Wednesday. Metro area, not looking much in the way of snow again. Most of this will be rain, very hit or miss this evening. It disappears once we head into overnight and tomorrow. Lighter winds Tuesday, but the temperature drop. 50s today, low 40s tomorrow and Wednesday. Finally, though, Christmas Day looking to be the low 50s. Cold front number two moves in, though, so we're stuck in the 40s. And yeah, we trade the, the wind weekend. for kind of a mild Christmas, huh? Yes, that's true. Anyway. The nice thing is, if you are traveling, we get most of all of it out of the way today. That's good. So Gotta keep, keep an both eye hands on. on the wheel. Thank mm -hmm. you. A soldier surprises.